Well, hi, and welcome to my shop. I'm just getting ready to do an alignment on the radio down here. I've looked for information, can't find any about alignment, but it's a very simple radio. And it doesn't even seem to have any uh, RF coils to align. It's just two IF coils. So it seems. Although I think I'm seeing another one right on the circuit diagram here. But let's take a closer look and see if we can find something more in this radio. Then. So what I see are, I see these two obvious IF cans and they have access to trimmer screws, two of them. So shouldn't be anything from underneath to do. But let's take a look and see what we got here. So I don't, I don't see any, you know, I looked in here before, I don't see any adjustments whatsoever. But you know what? This IF is open at the bottom. This one here. Hmm. What's up there? Let's take a look. Let's see. Well, I see a screw right up at the very top of that. Whoops. Oh, you know what that is? That's the screw just holding this. So, uh, so it's just these these four adjustments on the IF. Yet I'm seeing something on the. Uh, oh my gosh! You know what? It's the trimmer capacitor right on the tuning capacitor. It's really awkward to get at. I can even see it in there. It's, uh, it's, it's down here, <laughs> down where I'm pointing, and uh, yeah, fat chance I'm getting at that, here, because of this tube right here. How are you going to get a screwdriver in there? That little tiny space right in there. That's a, uh, hmm. That's a little bit of a design problem there. Gee, and you know, and then of course that's the most likely thing to be out of adjustment. Hey, there's something else that's kind of funny about this. No, there isn't. It's just funny about the way I'm looking at it. What a filthy, dirty capacitor that is, though. There. He's here. Just really, really dirty. But I'm not sure there's any advantage to trying to clean them off, really. So why don't we uh, start the alignment process on this radio. And, uh, we'll see how it goes here. So I think the first thing i got to do is switch it on and warm it up. Okay. Yeah, quick safety check. Looks good. Okay, switch on. And it's on restricted power to start. And almost certainly the IF in this is 455. Let's see if by any chance it actually says it here. And it has a recommendation of where to hook up your oscillograph. I don't have an oscillograph. I have an oscilloscope. Hmm. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to monitor the output uh, volume um, right on the speaker. So why don't we connect those wires up. fairly easy because the uh, well, it's easy but the wires are very light I want to break them 
they're also coated, so clipping onto a coated wire may, may not be the best move here. Nope, I got it. You can see the meter going up and down. Okay, now we'll uh, we'll dial in 455 here on the frequency generator, signal generator 455, and we'll see if we can't hear some of that come out of the radio here. So I'm just trying to shove it in through the antenna first. Yeah, we can shove it in through the antenna. So. Look, it's 437 instead of 455. Oh, it's the second radio with an IF that's a fair bit off, and this isn't this isn't terrible, but not really where it's supposed to be. Now that could be to adjust the uh, the dial, but uh, so you might want to think a bit about uh, since there's no other the, the oscillator adjustment. There's definitely that adjustment down on the uh, down on the capacitor. There is pretty much out of range. Let's give it the full voltage here. So the question is, should we move it to 455? Or shall we assume somebody's moved it where it is in order to make the dial accurate? Let's take it to 455 and see what happens. It's going to be a little tricky. The whole thing's aligned off far enough we can't even really hear any of the signal. So let's Let's start there, 447, and we'll peak it up. You notice I'm using a metal screwdriver again. Uh, I like metal screwdrivers because they're solid. They deliver all the uh, torque, whereas the uh, Plastic things are a little springy, and I can check quickly, like I've done now. You can, often, you can use a metal uh, a metal uh, screwdriver; it doesn't affect the tuning. Sometimes you can't, though, so you got to be a little careful. I'm not getting anywhere here. further. Okay, there's 455. Again.
Well, that's about as much, much as we're going to get out of it, I think. And if the other adjustment's just the oscillator adjustment, it won't affect the, the uh, receiving strength of this radio. So let's, let's see what we got now. I thought I picked up a couple stations here yesterday. Let's try one more experiment here. We'll hook it up to the outdoor antenna. And see if that doesn't boost it a bit. Okay. Start at the high end and away we go. seem to help. We're getting a station right around here somewhere. Yeah, I think it just increases the noise. And there's an awful lot of noise is making it into the front of this radio, so. But that's about the best we can do, right? I, I, can reassure you that this radio in another location will probably sound just fine. Here in my shop, in my house, not so good. Even as I drive into my driveway, if I'm listening to AM radio, it starts doing all this funny chit chat and chatter and noise and that. So, so I think I'm pretty satisfied with the result at this point, and I think we're done. I'll put it back in the cabinet. Oh my God! What happened to the last radio I put in the cabinet? Every time I put it in, it stopped working. Oh no! Well, that's just the top of it. There, that's the front of it. There it is, all finished. Hey, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Now, my last radio, every time I put it in the cabinet, it stopped working, so. Let's see what goes on with this. Give you a better idea in the dark here. Darken it down a bit. Ah, looks cool.
vent. I'm sure that's working. Yeah, very nice. I like it. It's a cool looking front. I love the pattern in here. It's great. Funny how the attics have the pointer offset from the center of the thing. Can you see that? Just another little design detail. It's not dead center. It's off to the side. So I like it. It's a nice little radio. Kind of matches another one I have. I have a much bigger radio. It's a similar kind of wood look to it. So You know what I'll have to do? I'll have to set up a little AM transmitter in here so when I do the test I can actually play some decent music through it because you never get anything good in here except computer sounds. Anyway, there it is. Pretty happy with that one. Thanks a lot for watching this quick series.